Okay, what was that? Who killed Poop? Did anyone see? There's no way someone could have vented while we were all there. It had to have been one of us. Who was in that room? I think everyone was there. Um, which room was this? Admin. Well, I wasn't there, so it couldn't have been me. Can anyone confirm that? I think he's telling the truth. I'm pretty sure Mr. Pepperoni Man wasn't there. Yeah, I was in Reactor. Okay, well then, who killed Poop? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Snowball was the closest one to the body, right? I guess so, but I didn't do it. I think Snowball's telling the truth, too. Plus, why would he kill Poop if he was right next to him? I'm just so confused on how this imposter managed to kill in broad daylight. I mean, what a ballsy move. We were all right there. You're right. This imposter has at least 10,000 IQ. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Hmm. Well, sounds like we have no clue, so let's skip. Agreed. Wait, did you guys hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard someone. Oh, you're probably just imagining things. <laughs> oh, how could you? And why would you do it in front of me? What? I, I didn't do it. I saw the knife. But, but it wasn't me. Oh, sure it wasn't. I'm serious, it really wasn't me. Tell that to the Space Rocks. Snowball just killed Sandy right in front of me. I did not. Oh my god, Snowball, how could you? That's not what happened. Okay, then what did happen? Um, well... See, he can't even make up a story. Sounds to me like Snowball is the killer. I swear, it's not me. Look, you might not believe me, but... The knife just appeared out of thin air, and it started floating around as if a ghost was controlling it. That's not funny, Snowball. It's the truth. How pathetic. Come on, guys, let's vote him out. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's vote him out. No! Yourself, Jeff? Uh, uh, I don't understand. It, it really looked like it was him. Let's get him. Yeah. Oh. I don't get it. How is it neither of them? Maybe what they said was true. Maybe there is a ghost on board this ship. Come on, guys, let's do our tasks. Mr. Pepperoni Man, how can you be so calm? There's a ghost on this ship! Well, we have no choice. We have to do our tasks, even if there is a ghost. Oh, Mr. Pepperoni Man, you're so brave. Oh, shucks. <laughs> it's nothing. <clears throat> <sighs> Fine. Let's just get this over with. I saw Chester vent. What? Wow. I saw him vent. I saw him vent. I didn't vent. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I don't know who to believe. This is so crazy. Okay, who do you think we should vote for, Banana? Don't pin this on me. 
I have no idea. Vote for Chester. He did it. He vented. It opened right beside him. I didn't vent. I'm not the imposter. Liar. All right. I'm going to vote for Chester. I feel like he's lying, too. <sighs> Thank you. All right. I'll follow you, Mr. Pepperoni Man. What? Uh, not again. <sighs> Any last words, your mom? B but it's not me. Sure it isn't. Oh my god. How can we get this wrong four times in a row? And why are all these people wrongly accusing each other? I know, right? It doesn't make any sense. Unless... Unless what? Unless it's true. What if there really are ghosts on board? Oh, thank God you called a meeting. I was starting to get so scared on my own. Uh, oh, Banana, uh, are you okay? Y yeah. You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe what I just saw. What? Mr. Pepperoni Man can turn invisible, and he's the imposter. <laughs> That's the funniest lie I've ever heard. Um, well, yeah, that is kind of hard to believe, Mrs. Potato. It's the truth. He has this kind of belt or something. It could make him invisible somehow. It sounds ludicrous when I say it out loud, but trust me, I'm 100% telling the truth. Are you sure? It explains everything. That's why the others were accusing each other. That's why Snowball said the knife floated. That's why Poop died in the first round with a room full of people. It wasn't a ghost. It was an invisible imposter. Sure thing. Oh yeah? Well, let me prove it to you. Oh my god, Mrs. Potato, you were right! Oh, thank god. I thought there were real ghosts on this ship. Turns out it was just Mr. Pepperoni Man this whole time. <laughs> I told you guys I was telling the truth. Let's... <laughs> it doesn't matter if you know my secret. You can't catch me even if you tried. That was an intense game. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Pepperoni Man, I'm disappointed in you for cheating. I know, I know. It was a close game, though. Thanks. I just have one question, though. Why did you write my name in blood in the med bay room? Huh? Yeah. Don't you remember? Banana, I never did that. W wait. 
Really? I swear on my life, I never did that. Chester, are you okay? Hey, banana. What's up with him? Let's get out of here. Hey, Banana, what's up? Um, the ch Chester. Huh? What's that? The uh, chasing. Uh, ch Chester. I, I, I can't b believe. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> There's a zombie on board our ship! <laughs> sure thing, Banana. <laughs> it's the truth! Is this some big brain play by the imposter? It's not! Banana is telling the truth, guys. Me and your mom both saw it. We did. Wait, really? Yes! I don't believe you. I swear I'm telling the truth. I walked into electrical, and Chester was there acting all weird. Then, all of a sudden, he turns around, and he's a zombie! He starts chasing after me! He chased us too. Oh my god. I think, I think there's some sort of virus on the ship. I think I heard about it. Oh, I've heard of this. I think one of the other ships reported about some sort of virus on Bolus. That must be it. So it's true. The virus is on this ship? I'm afraid so. I don't believe you. I'm pretty sure Banana is the imposter and he's just doing this to mess with us. Poop, both me and your mom can confirm that Banana is telling the truth. There aren't three imposters, so it must be true. Can't you see that? I don't believe you. That's it. I'm voting for Banana. Poop, why would you? Oh! What? Um, I... L look, it's okay. This is a zombie apocalypse. We have to work together if we want to survive. Just just promise not to kill me, okay? We're in this together. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Snowball. If we want to survive, we have to find some weapons. I have my knife. I'll need a weapon, too. I'll shut the door. Oh, um, thanks.
What was that? <gasps> Guys, you're alive! Sandy, Snowball! Oh, thank the heavens you're alive. I thought you were goners. We nearly were, but we made it through together. Both Pink and Green have been turned into zombies. We spotted them over by navigation just a few seconds ago. This is serious. If we don't get rid of them soon, the whole ship could become infected. You're right, but it's so hard to kill them. I think the only way might be to chop their heads off. Even if you chop off an arm, they just keep coming at you. I think if we... Can the imposters close the door or something? Please! We're gonna die! Sandy, you gotta close the door. They'll know I'm the imposter. We'll die if you don't. <laughs> You're the imposter! Mr. Gritz, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ah! Relax. Sandy won't hurt you. She's on our side. It's us versus the zombies now. You knew? <laughs> we're gonna die here! No, we're not. We will survive. Even if you're the imposter, we both have to work together. Snowball's right. Me and Mrs. Potato are both imposters. Hey! It's fine, Mrs. Potato. We'll work together to end this. Ugh, fine. This virus has plagued our lives. But if we are strong and work as a united people, we will defeat the zombies. I know it'll be tough. I know we may get hurt. But wouldn't you rather die trying than give up like a coward? We have to avenge our fallen comrades. We must survive. Now, who's with me? We, we are! Let's get them. We did it! We actually did it! I knew we could. I knew it. I'm so glad the imposters and crewmates worked together. We never could have defeated the zombies on our own. I agree. I think this is a joint win. Nice work. We did it together. We Why would you do we this? We this is want, terrible, we Snowball. Want, we I'm so want, sorry. We want, Why, Mrs. We Potato? Want, Why? We want, Snowball, we it'll be okay. Want, it'll be okay. We want, oh, God. We want, we oh, God. We want, we want, we want. You can do this. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a date. A date with Sandy. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Hello? Snowball, my man. Are you ready for your big date? No. I'm freaking out. Look, Snowball, there's nothing to worry about. Jeff, you don't understand. I've been wanting to go on a date with Sandy since forever. But now that it's actually happening, I just can't take the nerves. Relax, man. It's all good. Just make sure you calm down and enjoy the date. <laughs> 
I need some advice. Of course, man. Listen, the most important thing to do is... Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Snowball. I have to go. Somebody's about to walk in on this body. See ya! No, wait! You got this? You're cool. You're funny. You've got a ton of jokes. Why don't eggs tell jokes? They'd crack each other up. <laughs> no, no, that's not good. Ha! Uh, ah! What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese! <laughs> Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. No, that sucks too. Oh man. I'm not funny at all. I thought you were too busy to give advice, Jeff. Um, Snowball? This is Sandy. S Sandy? Oh god, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to shout. <laughs> It's fine, don't worry. So, you're looking for advice, huh? Is it about our date? <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> Snowball, there's no need to worry. Just think of this as a hangout. Nothing to worry about. Y y yeah, you're right. Thanks. See you soon. Yeah, S see ya. <sighs> you got this. Hey. Hey. You look beautiful. Uh, um, thank you. You too. I mean, handsome. <laughs> Thanks. We should probably do our tasks. Yeah, should maybe let's let's do them together. I'd like that. Listen, Sandy, can I tell you something? What is it? I... I really like you. Aw, I really like you too. You do? Of course. Why else would I go on this date with you? Oh my god. How did this happen? I, <laughs> I guess we were just too focused on each other. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess we were. Um, what was that? Huh? You just let the imposters win. Look, I get that you're on a date and all, but that doesn't mean you can just throw the game like that. Jeff, I'm sorry. We just... we lost focus. Snowball, that's no excuse. You should... Oh, uh, oh, uh, um, hi, Sandy. Um, I... Jeff, it's fine. You're absolutely right. That was our fault. We'll make sure to pay more attention next time. Yeah, don't worry, Jeff. We'll play serious now. Oh, well, okay. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. God, why did it have to be me? Oh, um, hi, Snowball. Hi, Sandy. Ready for our, um, second date? <laughs> yeah, let's go to our tasks. How am I going to get a kill when Snowball is right beside me the whole time? 
If I say I want to go on my own, he'll know I'm the imposter, because I wouldn't flunk out on our date like that. Oh no, what am I going to do? Hey, I have some tasks in here. Um, let's go to communication. But- Let's go! <laughs> Me and Sandy found this body outside of comms. Sandy is like 100% innocent, by the way. <laughs> yep, that's me, 100% innocent. Okay, so Snowball and Sandy are cleared. I med bay scanned Poop and Jeff, so we're all clear. I can confirm that Banana and Jeff were scanned. Me and Mr. Pepperoni Man were together the whole time, too. We're both innocent. Great. So that just leaves... Chester. What? Me? But I'm a crewmate. Are you sure? Because everyone else is clear. No, no way. Someone is misvouching. Personally, I think Snowball is just vouching for Sandy because he wants to be nice. <gasps> what? How dare you? Sandy is the most innocent player here. I would bet my life on it. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I saw Sandy fake a task in the admin room earlier on. That's not true, right, Sandy? Um... Look, she's not even defending herself. That's it. I'm hard accusing you, Sandy. You're the imposter. I know it. Look, back off, Chester. There's no need to be so harsh. Stop defending her just because you're on a date. That's it. I'm voting you out. Y yeah, sorry, Chester. I'm going to have to vote for you, too. Well, sounds like we're voting for Chester. No, no, no guys. You're, you're making a huge mistake. It all adds up. You're the only one not accounted for. N no, this can't be. I, I, someone is lying. Sorry, man. Hey, ready to go to the next task? Uh, yep. Sandy, you're the imposter. I'm sorry, Snowball. I, I'm sorry. I feel so bad for lying. I, uh, I have to report you here, you know. I understand. It, it was Sandy. Wait, really? Yes. So... Chester was telling the truth? Wait, Snowball, I thought you said Sandy was 100% clear. I guess I was wrong. Well, goodbye, Sandy. Snowball, my man! How did the date go? Um, not so good. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, God. How did I let it end up like this? Was it really that bad?
Well, well, well. What an unexpected turn in the love story of Sandy and Snowball. Will they make up? Is this the end of the Sandy and Snowball ship? Get this video up to 20,000 likes, and we'll post part three of this Among Us love story. Boys, let's get this thing going. Uh, a sure thing, boss. Uh, you can count on us. You got it, boss. Don't you worry about them bodies. I'll deal with them for you. We gotta make sure we snag these lousy crewmates. Yes, boss. Gotcha. Chester, we gotta protect the dawn. Of course. I I'll lay down on my life for the dawn. <laughs> I know I can count on you two. But if anything happens to me, I'm counting on you, my mafioso, to carry on my legacy as the Godfather. Me don't want to come down to that, boss. We'll beat him. I'm sure of it. But if it does, you promise me you'll deal with it, won't you? Yes, Don Banana. Good boy. All right, boys. Let's get this thing rolling. I, I didn't hear anything. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone. Sorry there, Snowball. But you leave us no choice. Let's ice him. The coast is clear, Don Banana. Good job, boys. In and out. Quick and easy. That's the best way to go about it. Oh, you're right there, boss. That was close, though. If we hadn't seen him, he would have snitched. No worries, your mom. Ain't nobody gonna mess with the Don. Boys, it's, uh, time we split up. Someone might start to get suspicious of us. Oh, can't I stay with you, boss? Hey, you know I'm a good for you. Family's gotta stick it together. You heard me. We split up. Let's go. Hi, guys. Oh, hi there, yo mom. Hey. What have you guys been doing? Oh, you know, tasks. How about you? Yeah, same thing. Tasks. You know who I haven't seen in a while? Snowball. Uh, oh, yeah? You're right. I haven't seen Snowball in ages. Oh, no, you don't think he's been killed, do you? Oh, no. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. He's probably just stuck doing some long task in navigation or something. Well, let's go check then. Why'd you stop? Oh, no reason. <clears throat> Let's go to Nav and see if Snowball is there. <sighs> Snowball's not here! Oh, yeah. We should call the emergency button. Just as we expected, Snowball is dead. Aw, poor Snowball. There are three mafias among us. We have to make sure we figure out who they are. Are you sure you're not hiding the body by calling this meeting, Mr. Pepperoni Man? No, it's not me. Jeff can vouch for me. We were together the whole time. That's true. Mr. Pepperoni Man is innocent. But I have a suspicion on who it is. Who? Banana. Me? Oh, you want to pick on a banana? Then you got to answer to me. Oh, um, I, I mean, I don't think it's banana. 
Hmm, and why not, Chester? Because, uh, because, I, I just don't. Wow, okay, hear that, guys? Banana is cleared for the rest of the round. Huh, but it's true. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Who last saw Snowball? Sounds to me like this is a skip vote. Hmm, I've got my eye on you, Banana. Guys? Jeff, it's nice to see you. Wait, Banana, what happened to your accent? So you think Don Banana's a member of the Mafia, do you? Wait, your mom? You too? And nobody accuses the Don and gets away with it. Good job, you two. You can account on us, boss. All right. Clean up this mess. I just saw a banana vent. We, we saw, saw him vent, vent too. too. All right, banana, you're out of here. We all saw you vent, didn't we, guys? Yep, we sure did. <laughs> yeah, totally. Very well. Good luck, Don Chester. I know you can do it. I saw your mom sweep up a body. Oh my god. What? No you didn't? Yes I did. Oh, I believe you Mr. Pepperoni Man. Let's vote your mom out. I agree. She's gotta go. No! Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to report this body, and we're going to have a meeting. And you're not going to say a word, and if you want to keep that tongue of yours, I'm going to win this. You got that? Oh my god, he just killed right in front of me. It's Mr. Gritz. Mr. Gritz, is that true?
Mr. Gretz? Hello? See? He can't even defend himself. I'm telling you, it's him. Well, all right. If you can't put up a defense, then it must be him. I'm so proud of you, Don Chester. Thanks, the boss. 